Hello, my name is Rosalind Bearcat, and this is my first playthrough for the Rise of the Dark Fog expansion for Dyson Sphere Program. This is the Albada playthrough series. Hope you enjoy the gameplay. Okay, we're back. Now, in the last episode, we set up a facility to make processors and components. Um, we're not making a huge quantity of them, one per second. Actually, it's less than one per second because these need to be marked to assemblers to do things. And there goes another round of missiles all over the planet. Uh, but we're headed back to the home planet today because we have some... Uh, we, we've got processors in our inventory and particle containers are going to be the objective of this particular uh, run. So we need to be able to make particle project, uh, containers, the little pink containers. That's one of the things that we need. So we're going to go back over to where we're at. Let's see. I don't know if we want to go around the dark fog hive. I'm not sure what happens if I get too close to it. Let's see. That thing. And out here in the middle. Looks like it's fairly close to my home planet. And it's certainly between us at the moment. Does it react if I get too close? I don't know. My my robot might react if I get too close. That could be dangerous. So we are going to take a roundabout way of doing this. All of those little ships. That just looks to me to be a serious danger point. But these things are relatively close to my planet too. Oh. Well, this thing's inside 4.4 AU. It really looks like they might be. All right, well, we're... Oh, oh, they're shooting at me. They're shooting at me. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's... Oh, they're, they're, they're hurting me. Yikes. Okay, that was... Uh... Yeah, that's what happens if you get too close. They drained my energy to nothing. They drained my shields to nothing. Um, that's not good. I'm still alive. I managed to outdistance them and get away from them, just barely surviving. And we're back on our home planet. Let's do something right quick. I realized that I... Need to save the game from the last episode. Okay, now then. Let's... Back to our regular scheduled events and what we're doing. We're, we need to go find our mall. It's right over here. Very good. We want to make particle containers because we need those in order to automate, automate things. Now, we're not going to build any large facility for doing this. This is temporary facility for what we need to do here. So let's look right quick at what, uh, when we look at these, we need, particle, auto, we need to automate particle containers. And particle containers are going to require graphene motors and copper bars. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a little facility. And we're going to use some boxes. And we're going to build these things using a box facility just to automate it. Just so that we can, don't have to sit here and click on the thing. We are going to take all 500 of those. They'll rebuild. That'll be fine. No big deal. Let's go over here now, and we need, oh, let's, let's check the numbers right quick of how many of these things, of each things we need. If I've got 500 of those, I need 500 of everything. So I need 500 copper plates. Let's see. That just happens to be exactly how many is there. 500 copper plates, and then I need 500 graphene. And I got graphene over here being produced into this box and I've got way more than 500. One, two, three, four, five. I've got five of those. All right. Now, we just need a little spot to build this. We are going to be taking things down and cleaning things up. So what we're, oh, that's water. I was hoping that was not water. Uh, let's see. I'm not using that water for anything. Don't need that water for anything. So let's see. Foundations. We'll, we'll, we'll do this. And we'll just save that whole area. There we go. No more water. Oh, there's a little bit of water right there. All right, very good. No more water. We can build what we need here. It is a great thing. So, these things require 
An assembler, I believe. Yes, it is. It's an assembler. All right. And we, don't, we are going to... Let's see. Here we go. Let's put four of them down. And what we're going to do is run... Let's put one of these here. On this side. It takes three items. So what I'll do is I'll put one on that corner. One on that corner. One. Is that the line I wanted on? Yep, that's the line I wanted on. And then coming up here and we'll put one right here. And then what we will do is I will stick a box on top of every one of those. Then I will grab a line of items and bring it down through there. Bring one down through here. Bring this down through here. And bring this over to here and realize that I didn't get that in the right place. <laughs> of course not. So let's get it in the correct place. There we go. With the storage box on top of it. And finish hooking this up. All right, now then we need a power pole on this end and a power pole on this end. And then we need that right there. And then we need the containers and we want that, that. Over here we want this and the output. We'll grab that and drag it right down through there. We've got it going. Now, we just need items to put in here. So, right here, we will stick the graphene. Right here. That must not have that go any further than it needs to. That This is going to be important to making this make the correct number. There we go. Alright, right here. Well, let you stop it. Right here. We'll put all the copper. Right here, we will put in the gears. And we'll stand here and watch these things produce for a second. Okay, and there is our first one, our first two, our first three, and our fourth one. Right into a box. Beautiful. It's not... It is elegant in its in simplicity. So we need... How many of those did we need? Oh, more than I want to think about, I think. Takes four seconds to produce one. I've got four of those producing. Okay, so um, there we go. Um, so if I look at that, I need t in order to make ten of these towers, I need two hundred of those things. So it's going to take a little bit of time. So what we're going to do while that comes up is we're going to go start getting the site ready for what we need to do. So we might as well let that produce. I'm sitting right here across from this. Let's go in here. Uh, hmm. Where's my, what I'm looking for is my foundations. They're right here. Let's grab, I'm going to grab 10,000 of those things. I actually don't need to be carrying around the titanium, and I have a huge box right here with titanium in it, and we'll just stick all the titanium in there. Okay, so let's look at for the what we can do while it's making those particle containers. We can look at the map if I orient, oops, hit in, orient this to the north. Now, this area is just really taken up. But if I spin around here to this side, I don't have a lot of stuff over here. So I think I can come over here and start this, getting this area prepped and build my mall over here on this area. Since I've got planetary logistics, or when I have planetary logistics, it won't be that difficult to create that. So I need to go over into this dark area where it's dark and start getting ready for what we're going to do. Um, there is coal and stuff here. Uh, let's see. I need to find the equator. I think right in here might be where I go, actually. Let's see. I'm bad. Far away am I if I get this? I'm pretty close. Where's the equator? Let's see. Let's grab a power pole. That'll help me locate these lines. All right, that right there is going to be the equator. So let's go this way until we find one of the meridian lines that are coming down, or what I'm calling meridian lines. I really should 
Better it. There we go. There's one right there. That is that one? No, that's not one. That's it right there. We're gonna drop a power pole right there. Okay. Because that is going to be our break line. We're going to I think we're gonna use the well I don't know if we want to use the northern half of this. Let's see, orient to the north. There we go. And then see, yeah, we're gonna use this. We're gonna go that that way. So we're going to go to the other direction. Going back this way. So where is the uh all right, well that and then that ocean right there, water. We got Adam we're gonna do on both sides of this for a bit. Let's land right here and start paving things. Now in this case, I want to put down pad. I've got a whole bunch of these things. And we're gonna start right here on that corner. And start I hate when it slides like that. I don't know why it does that. It does it frequently with me. And it's annoying. In this case, I'm still going I'm going to be paving these areas anyway, so it won't know the difference. We're using up soil power, but look at that. I have 2.2 million soil power, so I really don't even have to worry about soil power. I can pave as much of this as I want to. And basically, I'm going to want to do a bunch of it because I, for my starter mall, I'm going to be, I'll be doing five of these things. So I'll be using up a bunch of these foundations. Let's see. Let's tell you what. Let's do this right here. That right there. That right there. We'll have plenty of room here. There we go. And we will con just continue on down through here for a little bit more. For how we want to build this mall. Looks like I'm going to build... We may actually build east to west. Or build to the east. Right now we're just dropping these things down. I mean, I've still got 7,000 of these things. I'm good. Yeah. Built a bunch of them. I like it. We'll continue paving things all the way down through here. Don't have to worry about how much space we're taking up. We want plenty of room as we build our mall. As it takes a lot of room. Also, it's going to take a lot of space up through here with the way that this is going to work. So we're just getting ready. We're redoing the mall. We'll put it over here where nothing's in the way. And we'll use planetary logistics to get things over here. And we'll start harvesting things in clusters and then sending it out. And then we'll be requesting things over here. Now, we will have factories that build things. Um, we won't be building things here. That's what the factory thing is for. Now, that's annoying. I am going to take this down. Get rid of that line right there. There we go. I don't like that. And it annoys me when it does is that. It slides on me. That's probably, I don't know if, if I'm just moving the mouse when I click, which is what I suspect, or if the, the pressing the earth down causes it to shift and I don't let up quick enough. I don't know which one it is, but either way. I don't like it. All right. We're going to continue going until we run into something here that we don't want. Or we run out of... Foundations, whichever comes first. We're preparing a large site. Okay, there's coal right there. So, one more. We're going to go one more here. There we go. All right, that is going to be our site where we start building our mall. Now then, with that in place, let's see. We've got our items being made. Let's go check on our items. No, we're, we're good, let's find. Let's get the first part of our mall down uh, and this way we can start doing things. Now the first part of this mall is going to be, I want enough room here to put a couple of towers to bring items in because that's how I'm going to get items in is by putting three planetary logistics towers here and requesting the stuff that I need. Uh, I may, like the copper here, I may build something here and run it in on a line 
since it's close. Um, I don't know if there's anything made with coal that's going to be going onto the line. Um, I do need diamonds, and so I will need to start making diamonds. But I want to get this mall issue worked out to where I can make all of the buildings automated and then start getting things onto the bus and kind of clean up my mess before I progress any further in the game. Otherwise, I'm just creating more mess that has to be cleaned up. So let's get started with a blueprint. Now, I normally don't do this, and I, but I want to give credit where credit's due. I was working on a blueprint, and we're going to drop my blueprint just so you guys can see what I was actually working on. Is it here? No, it's not there. Mall. Starter factory. Starter... I may not have it at the moment. No, that's not it. No, I didn't keep it. So I was working on a blueprint. Um, oh, mall group one. Maybe this is it. No, that's the starter mall. Okay. So I was working on a blueprint, and I had an idea of using elevated things and using... Um, basically using these you know elevating the belts and then using running things underneath you know using splitters using a good bit of splitters and doing things and i got started on that i was refining and working on the idea on monday and as i looked up the on um, the day i was recording the thing about my idea and Nilaus, if you've never watched Nilaus, he has some really good videos on Dyson Sphere. He released a video on the same idea, and his implementation of it was even better than mine. Um, mine was okay, and it was the same basic concept of dropping the belts down using the, the two-level splitter and running the belts out to build things. But his the variation of his is actually easier to place the different groups. So I've got three blueprints here. I've actually modified a couple of the things that is actually done. I've got a hub starter pack here. And this is the, you know, kind of getting started with the hub, you know, and, and what we're going to do. So I'm going to use my hub starter. Um, and, and this is the way we're going to, you know, this is a, but this is a template that was used from what Nilaus had. So to give credit where credit is due, um, I'm using his variation of this concept and this idea. So I'm going to drop this here. And I am 72 items short of some things. We're going to need to go back and get some things. Uh, let's go ahead in my building here and drop one of these buildings down. So that we've got some assistance building things. We'll go ahead and facilitate putting that in there. And then we are going to need to run power over here. So while this thing is going to build out, let's see where the closest power is. I've got power over here, so I should be able to just run down through here, this line down through here every so often and over there until we get to where that power is. So that is every third location. And, uh, and we're just going to continue right on down the equator. We may eventually put solar panels over here once we are once we have those automated, but that will require interplanetary logistics to bring things back before we can automate those. So that we are going to be making that rush to interplanetary logistics. I want to make that clear. That is the goal. But before we push forward, we're cleaning up before we go. Just because we believe that's going to make things easier, we're going to make us a mall here that will facilitate us being able to do things that we need to do no that's only going to be two down that's okay now where is oh it's over there let's continue down through here oh, well that went on without that that needs a foundation though but we'll put that there and that one there okay very good and one more that and that and that's going to connect up to the other side that will connect all of the power up over here and things will build better now we need to go get some more things we need 70 yellow belts and two gauss cannons i don't have any belts on me so let's get over here and over to where our mall is so there we should be coming up on this side of things this is yeah, this is on this side Whereas the other one was on the other side, uh, was pretty much on the other side. All right, let's get over to our mall, which is over here. Now we used up a whole bunch of foundations. Um, 
and we may do some more foundations at some point in time but let's only keep a stack of those just for filling things in now okay with that in place let's see um we need belts and things which are going to be over here and we've got yellow belts i'm going to bring a bunch of those into my inventory uh, i'm going to need a whole bunch of these all right and then let's see i need a couple of goss cannons so let's grab 25 of that and i'm going to need a whole bunch of splitters with the way that this is done this particular version of this just needs a lot of splitters and let's see is there anything else that i really need at the moment i don't think so with what i'm going to be building over there that's probably good on the resources that i need um go ahead and put some more power items in now it shows another thing over there can i put another one over there no i can't okay that's a box there but you can't put anything in it all right very good so we've got this done we've got our boxes here let's see how many of these we have look at there we have i think that's the 200 that we need in order to make this so while this is running and making various different things let's go back over here to where this facility is and we will let's see if i can find it oh i can see it over here oh yeah things that need to be built look at all the things over here it's building away while i'm gone look at there it fills in and it'll fill in all the details now let's let it finish its thing while we get set up to build manually build some of these assemblers oh i need steel and titanium so uh let's see that should finish building everything that i need we'll have we'll have to start hooking things up but running back why is that still not what's going on here why did that why does it say i need belts plenty of belts fill that in all right you can see the design here so let's actually, before we head back, let's actually take a moment here to look at the design of this. So we've got the different items that we're going to be putting on the, you know, in, in, in the bus. Uh, this We will expand this a little bit further uh, when we get a little further along. We've got a storage area here for storing items that are in here. Uh, these things are basically full boxes. I could store less of that if I wanted to. And then you can see... The, bel the belts are on the upper level, and then each little item. Now, I've made some changes to what the original thing that Nilaus did was, but his basic idea, what he improved on was I had one of these between each one of these segments. I had one of these. He put one on each side, and it works. It actually works. You can actually make all of the items down through here. There's enough room in here. He's got just enough room to put the items in here, and, and basically, I can build any item I want to just by pulling the things off of the belt. Um, you know, all, you know, just connecting this in. This was the idea that I had, and I, I have to say, I was pretty happy with it. Um, you know, so I was planning to look at this, uh, but his implementation, the way he organized his belts up here, his blueprint, in order to be able to snap down the next segment, was really, really good. So here's the way this works. We come in here. We've already put down this the starter pack, and so what we do is we just grab a module, and with the module, we come in here, and I connect up the module just like this right here snap it in and it just builds the next module and then i can build whatever i want to build here so let's say that i've come across here and i've built the first four items one of the next things that i really need a lot of is power poles so i come in here and i grab a tesla power pole and then i also use i also i use a whole bunch of wind turbines so let's just keep the two of those things together i mean why not right so here's what we do we open this up and i can see i need gears and magnetic coils so our, our iron and magnetic coils so i grab my item here and i bring this out from here so you grab the first you bring the first one first over to here and i can bring it on this side if i need it if it needs to be really close and then I can connect up here, connect this in. I can grab me a connector, connect this and this, and it's, it's now ready to make the power poles. I can then click on this and do the same thing on the other side. This also requires iron. This up here requires gears. 
and then oh and i messed up and see it's, it's easy to fix okay i messed up and the next thing i need is I, I i was looking at this for what i need but i need to be looking at these items and, and taking them in order otherwise it doesn't work you have belts crossing over each other you don't want the belts crossing over each other so in this case i need to take the coils next and then the gears and that way they all come down here i connect these up and i'm done i'm ready now to build the next item and i can now just snap the next blueprint down i just come back to my blueprint come back to my starter module you know, connect it in on the belts here. I get the belts lined up, snap it down, and I've got the next segment ready to go. Um, so this was the basic idea of having the splitters lifting the belt, the main belt, the main bus up uh, up a level so that it's up one level and then bringing the item, branching the items off in order to bring it into the constructor. I had the same idea, was working on that, but I will admit his his blueprint here is his blueprint is very much some superior to mine and his spacing he got this built in a tighter space than what i was able to figure out so i have to say i like it i think it's pretty neat I, and I, I think this is a really really good way of doing the mall um is it is it perfect maybe not and there may be some people who don't like this uh there you can certainly build it more compact with fewer components but these items are basically made i mean when you look at how a splitter is actually made here if we come in here and we look at splitters it, it takes iron and a little bit of copper those resources are nearly unlimited uh in the you know in a series like this and the amount of the planets and stuff i have so i just don't care i can automate it and i don't care the other thing i added to his blueprint just because especially early game and things that i'm looking at do when i would really be looking at putting this down and starting this is that i've got the ammo here and the very first one pulling off some of the copper and then feeding the line uh, and so then you know when i come down to do the additional turrets and and project those out down through here i can just oh well of course i took them all out of my inventory i can bring the belt on down through here like this and then i can continue to put the goss cannons down um let me see how far apart they are one two three four five so the next one would go right there and that's where i would stick the goss cannons down and then they will you know even in the early game you know i will have protection if you look at the protection ring it doesn't go all the way to the upper end so what i will probably do is is run this up on the top side as well so they've got overlapping coverage on this and kind of surround my, my mall with this stuff at least coming from the direction they're coming uh, any drones are coming now i don't have any drones at the moment on this planet so i don't have to worry about it but that's what i've been working on um and he beat me to it with a superior version so i'm using his blueprint i'm just going to use his uh, it accomplishes exactly what i wanted uh, and i like it Hopefully you like it too, and if you do, I would encourage you to go take a look at his series, and he, you can download some of his blueprints too. He has a lot of really good blueprints, I have to say. They're pretty cool. All right, let's see. Going back over to here, I'm getting the items together. We're going to make our first planetary logistics system before we call it here. We need steel and titanium, and if we're going to make 10 of those, we need 400 titanium. One, two, three, four. And then we need, uh, let's see, how much steel? We need 400 steel. And then let's just go ahead and make sure before we go anywhere. Okay, we don't need, oh, how many? We're going to need steel and copper to make those. Uh, I want to be able to make 100 of those, so that's going to take 300 copper. While I'm here, I might as well grab the copper. Here we go. I'm going to need 300 of those. I'm going to need mm, I'm going to need 500 iron all right and, and 500 iron I should have a box here with iron I do and it has exactly 500 in it so we'll pull that um, let's see and then let's do a we need steel this place to get steel is where I'm making the foundations I think although it may not have enough so let's get the steel from right here i how much steel do i need i need it needed a lot of steel fortunately that does not need steel but i believe if i remember correctly i need 400 steel i do 400 steel and i happen to have 500 so we've got enough stuff to do this now 
we will now hit this. We should be able to build 10 of these, and we can. We're going to queue this up, and this will be where we call the episode. But we are making our first planetary logistics system. Once we have those in place, we will then also build 100 drones. Now, it says I can't do any drones. Why is that? That's because I don't have enough steel. I need 200 more steel. Um, and I don't think I have 200 more still. Let's see. I've got 100 still. And then I'm going to have to find somewhere to get additional steel from. Uh, let's see if this is still here. Oh, there's 100 there. Very good. I've got a, I've got 200 still there. So we can queue up 100 of these drones as well. Um, well, it says I can make 50 of them. I am short on something that I need. That would take, I would need to, oh, I, I would have to double this to get that because I need, make 100, I need 200 of those, so I need 400 steel and 600 iron. So let's make the 50 and we'll come back and make 50 more in a few minutes. We're going to call it here, and we'll be back with the next episode where we're going to continue the mall and start bringing in resources and getting things producing on the actual mall, on our, on our permanent mall. That is all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Please subscribe to the channel to be notified when new content is available, and check out the link shown here for more gameplay. Take care.